I have a story to tell you today that's pretty embarrassing, but for the sake of honesty and truth in this project, I'm going to let you in on it. One thing you may not know about me is that I am a complete addict to Popeye's fries. They are the most delicious thing in my mind, and they're very, very cheap. And now there's a Popeye's right over there. I could walk there if I wanted to at any time and get a large box of Cajun fries for three fifty nine. And in fact, one of the first days it was open, uh, Tristan and I drove over there and just sat in his car and ate Popeye's. And it was great. It was a great time. We had a uh, very strange conversation, which... I can't talk about on here, teenagers. That's just a little preface to this story to help you get a better idea. Today during lunch, myself, Tristan, and Ben, we all walked to the Popeyes right near Walden. Tristan got a box of fries and one whole jalapeno for some reason, and I got a large box of fries all to myself. And lunch is only half an hour. And I ate that entire large box in half an hour. I maybe gave away one fry, but any time somebody would approach me and see the box, I would immediately close it. Like, I got really territorial over this box of fries. So, about halfway into fifth hour, which is the hour directly after lunch, I started getting, you know, the gut rumblings. And I thought, oh boy. This is not going to end well. So I tried to relieve the issue, so to speak, and nothing happened. So I waited till sixth hour, which is French class, and I try not to ask to go to the bathroom in French because I don't know how, and I don't want to. I know if I try to say it in English, she'll say en français, and I don't want people to laugh at me. So I didn't go 6th hour. 7th hour came along, and I relieved the issue. Or so I thought. Then I took the bus home, and my mom picked me up, and we drove over to work. And that ride only takes about 10 minutes, but about 5 minutes in, I was thinking, Oh boy, here we go again. I'm comfortable going at school. I've gotten over that that fear, that paranoia, but this was only my second day of work and it's not something that I'm comfortable doing just yet. So I just sat there downing a whole bottle of water waiting for this sensation in my stomach to pass, which it did for the most part. And then I went into work, and I worked with Sovereign, which was good because uh, she's got a good sense of humor and it really made time seem to go faster. And also, uh, Tristan and my friend Lucas Strandell came in, which was cool. Um, and I made Tristan a hot cocoa, and I told him that he should uh, tell the boss that he really liked it because I feel like I've been messing up a lot of stuff, and I needed a confidence boost, basically. But that was, that was later on. That was about one hour, hour and a half in. But when I first got there, I told Sovereign, okay, if I look like I'm moving slow, it's because I'm trying to avoid crapping my pants, basically. Just to put it bluntly, that's a direct quote. And she just laughed it off. She thought I was joking. I was completely serious. But it passed after about an hour. I stopped having the the rumbling in my gut and I just got to working and it was a pretty good day I think the uh, one of the other one of the other employees Crystal she's been helping me out a lot because she's worked there for a long time uh, she just showed me all the ropes taught me how to make different drinks taught me how to work the register which was one of the things that I was most nervous about because uh, I'm not good with the I'm not good with small talk basically and I don't want to overcharge or undercharge somebody or make them wait so long that their drink is going bad. It's getting cold. But I thought that was an interesting story. And I thought it was embarrassing because I haven't shared a truly embarrassing story in quite a while. Uh, and I don't want you to think that my life is just, you know, flawless. Which, 
I don't know where you would get that idea from, but... It's, it's a good thing, actually, in a way, because I've made a new rule for myself that I'm not going to have Popeye's food or fast food of any kind more than once a week because I know what happens when I do, and it's not good. <laughs>